Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, my name is Miguel. Um, I don't necessarily have a YouTube channel, but um, I go and check out videos every now and then when I'm having trouble with things, you know, like most people do. But this is actually the first video I made, and the reason why I'm making it is because I've actually tried doing this for a while, and I failed miserably. And uh, I was able to find some advice and uh, on on some, believe it or not, on, on some of the comments of a video. And uh, it went ahead and worked for me, so I want to go ahead and show you guys. Okay, first of all, this video is about the the Mission First Tactical uh, AR-15 magazine. Okay, uh, this is actually on the 20 round magazine. And I, I know that this one's loaded already. Um, I should have unloaded it. But uh, the reason for being is um, I was trying so hard to get this cap off of the magazine and I couldn't. I tried so many different videos. Uh, it looks like this one's the extreme duty one, so it's a lot harder. But uh, I was able to find out that uh, it's actually like has like plastic welds, you know, on the front and back end of the, of the cover. And then it's got like uh, some glue on it. So basically what I did was um, I used a, a razor to to cut the plastic welds, you know, as much as I could. And then I uh, used uh, a screwdriver <clears throat> to pry it open. I used a, a, a screwdriver, a little micro mini flathead screwdriver to pry it open. I was pretty much just banging it with like a little hammer and prying it open. And then once I was able to break off the glue, um, then the, the, the cap pretty much just slid off real easily. You know, just get a bullet and uh, push these down and then it'll, it'll just slide off. Um, once you take out the guts of, the, of what's inside the magazine, you know, the spring and everything, on the back you'll see like a plastic post okay it looks something like this okay it'll be in the back end of the uh of the magazine here and uh basically what i did was i just cut off the bottom left the bottom took off the entire post you know i'm from texas so we don't have any regulations on how many rounds you can have on your magazine so if i'm gonna buy a 30 round magazine i want you know 30 rounds on it i don't need a post stopping the limit on how many rounds i can put in my magazine okay so basically what i did was i just took some some cutters uh i didn't have a hacksaw or anything so i used the uh, some scissors you know some kitchen scissors and i pretty much just squeezed the hell out of them until i was able to break this off and uh that's what happened here so this post has a back end right here and when I cut it off, I removed this post and just left the back end. And what I did was uh, I disassembled one of my P mags just to check the guts on it to see the base plate on how it, it looks. And it looks exactly like that. You know, it doesn't have the post at all. It doesn't have this post at all. So I put the, you know, pretty much everything back together. And now it's holding 30 rounds. This is uh, my flat earth one. And then I got the, the black. But, I mean, I was getting pretty upset because I had these, these magazines for my AR. And I couldn't put nothing in them, you know. But they had a little marker, a little orange marker right here. That would just show you how many are left in capacity. But it wouldn't show you the rounds. I mean, that's the whole point of the window. I know. But, uh, I mean, I haven't tested it yet at the range, but I'm happy with, with the results so far. And as far as, you know, fitting 30 rounds into the mags. But that's just the video for you guys, you know, because I struggled with it a lot. And, uh, you know, it was getting me pretty upset. I was already close to not ever buying Mission First Tactical magazines again. But uh, I'm happy with it. Results came out great and um let's see how it does at the range if i can i'll put another video on on, on how uh, on how well it did at the range but anyways there you go guys well thank you and uh we'll see who this helps
Bye.